My name's Patrick Brown, and you might know me from my Marvel work on Spider-Man. And I'm going to show you how you can draw Spider-Man yourself. The first thing we should do is draw a circle. And then to the left of the circle, we're going to draw an oval. Then as a guide, I like to draw a little cross inside of this oval. And it's slightly tilted up like this. And just to the right of our main circle, I'd like to draw another line that kind of looked like a crescent moon. You should end up with something like this. And now you've got a sphere with some guides for the head. Now we're going to build a face on there. So at the center of this cross, let's lead off this direction. And we're going to wrap and bend that line around the sphere. So think of it as a bowl. And from the center again, I'm going to drop down some vertical lines. So one here will go down just a little bit past the bowl. I'm going to do another one that's going to flow off this middle line here. And it's going to come right down. It's going to kind of curve down a little bit. And then we want to have one off the side of the bowl as well that's going to also curve down. Now I'm going to connect these and create a full jaw. Something like that. And to draw the neck, I'm going to draw a vertical line just off past the jaw there. And from under the chin, I'll draw another little vertical line parallel. And then I want to have those bend out a little bit to look like shoulders. If we want to, I can draw the collarbones in. And now that we have our structure, I can go over it again with some outlines. And using our guides, I'm just going to go through and start drawing the neck. And as I continue, I'm going to add a little bit of stylization to it. So instead of doing a perfect circle, I'm going to add a couple of little jagged edges. And I'm just following the chin line now. And it could be a nice touch to make your lines nice and bold. And now we're going to try and do the eyes. Think of them as just a big oval right in the center where the head is. But as you get around, you can kind of add a little bit of that stylization again and have a couple of little bended corners. And that's a good way to do the eye. Keeping in mind that this is the center of the face right there and I need to draw the eyes on either side. Also keep in mind that this eye is wrapping around the head. Now we have a really good structure of our Spider-Man head. So let's start doing the outlines around the eyes and bring in some details. Starting from between the eyes, I want to have thicker, bolder outlines taper out. They get thicker as they go further out, but always hugging that inner circle. As you get down to the bottom of the cheek, I always kind of stop here and then I kind of angle that up a little bit with a nice little sharp corner. It just adds a nice touch. And if you really want to, you can add these little corner flares. And again with the other eye. So from between the eyes, I'm starting off thin and going to thick. Now for the tricky part, the webbing. I always like to start between the eyes and making sure that my pen or pencil is really thin. Draw a little pentagon right between the eyes. And starting with that guide in the middle of the head, let's just wrap a line around that. And then we'll have two more coming off the bottom corners of the pentagon. And now, keeping in mind that all these lines are going to go back to that pentagon, I'm going to keep drawing off the side of the eye. I'm going to draw four lines coming down the neck parallel, just like this. One in the center, one right on the end there. And then they all need to bend out. One's going to go right between the collarbones there, which is the center of the chest. This one's going to start leaning back out towards this direction now. And now we need to do the connecting webs, which you can picture spreading out like this. Imagine in your head that they're spreading out from the center of that pentagon. And when you draw them, you're going to do a little arc. And the arc is going to be like this, and not this way. And when doing the webbing on the neck, just imagine in your mind that the webs are going to go down kind of like this. So when you're drawing them, you're still doing those little arcs, and they go down and wrap around the neck. And if you really want to, you can go ahead and start filling in with some color. And there you have it. So you've drawn your very own Spider-Man straight out of the comics. And the best part about this is you can really make it whatever you like. What about Miles Morales or Spider-Gwen? Anything you like, you can just have fun with it. So I hope this was helpful. I look forward to seeing your Spider-Man drawings. Thanks for watching.